Welcome guys, and this is the first episode of the Behind the Swipe series. So, um, what we're doing is we're doing a interview with some of the members of the local Discord for Defender of Texas Online. And here I'm joined by Floob. Welcome, Floob. Yo. How's it going, mate? I'm going to be honest, I didn't even know that your intro worked because you cut out for like half of it. So, uh, <laughs> it's going good, you know? Fantastic. And well, as we said before, no cutting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, first one for you. Uh, when did you start playing .o? Uh, first time or second time? <clears throat> you can mention both times. Uh, first time was... God, was that twenty early twenty seventeen? I think. Hold on, uh, it was around that time. Yeah, uh, it was back when the only thing was dot offline. Yep. Which I feel like quite a few people weren't around for. Yeah, it was twenty sixteen. It was like August twenty sixteen when I started. Um, at that time, you just kind of like sprayed and prayed on the servers because it was it was all offline, but it still needed to connect. So that was fun. Um, I ended up quitting not too long after that, just because I, I there wasn't much to do. It was kind of like, yeah, this is cool. I can click the journey button again. That, that's good enough for me for now. And then quit for quite a while. Uh, got booted for an activity in the server. Thanks, Lambo. Uh, and then in 2020, during the pandemic, I'm like, oh, yeah, I wonder if that's still going on. And lo and behold, I meet this Australian lad. Uh, hi. That's right. We had a bit of a story, didn't we? We fucking... <laughs> wasn't, there, wasn't there a dilemma with um, Discord? You could ping at someone randomly in the Discord. Yeah, yeah, the... Earliest time anybody mentioned me in Discord in the dot Discord is Hellfire because there was a command back then that was like at random or something, and then it would ping somebody. It was and at it pinged me. It was at someone. <laughs> <laughs> it's so <like> stupid. <laughs> like, like, who's this Hellfire dude? Why do you ping me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great times. Um. All right. Well, how did you find Dotto then? Or dot offline, I guess, back in your time. Uh, dot offline, because I remember when the game was ending. Uh, I went on the forums to see what people were talking about, and Lambo had made his post, uh, like floating the idea. And my brother and I had talked about it at the time. We we're like, you know, we we weren't optimistic because a it's a big project, especially with a company like DNA that's like not very open source about anything. Uh, and B, we were. Also worried that DNA wouldn't like the idea of somebody else remaking their game, and it would kind of be like a Nintendo situation where they just DMCA or uh, take down notice stuff like blindly. Uh, so I remember we kind of just like both gave up. He had quit before the end, but I I stuck it through, um, and I kind of lost hope. And then uh, I remember. Around the time I joined in 2016, I was like, oh, you know, it's been a few years. I think it was like, what, two years at that point? Maybe a year and a half. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'll see how it's going, see if it's still happening. And then, lo and behold, uh, the Discord, I think, had just been made. Like, I, it was like really coincidental when I checked because it was relatively new. I think maybe maybe a few weeks to a month old, but it was really inactive. There weren't many people in it. I mean, that's when, like, Rockstar and, and Keith Titan and Monkey were all extremely active. Yeah, yeah. I think that server, Discord server anyway, came up, I think, September 2016? Oh, uh, no, it was, it was at least... Nah, was it 2017? Nah, 2017 was the release. So it would have been 2016. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember September. Cause my f my first message is August of 2016. Oh, I might have got it mixed up. I did ping Lambo in, in the bot central to see when he joined the the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if I can look back really quick because my message is pretty close to the beginning of uh, the general channel in the Discord, which I think was the first one. Oh, yeah. So if I just scroll up a bit, uh, what was that? July seventh, 2016. 
Oh, huh, okay. Uh, feels like so long ago. Let me check. Uh, join server 13th of October 2016. That's for Lambo's account. Okay. Yeah, actually, I, I think that's right. I don't think that he was the original server discord server owner oh oops, i'm pretty okay. sure that it was it was rockstar or keith titan but I, i'm not a hundred percent caught up on my dot discord server history so i i can't say that with a hundred percent validity yeah that's all good i don't think anyone has any validity in this server um <laughs> <laughs> just throwing some shade in there uh fuck all right, uh, your reputation as a player. So I know that you're a bit of a, from what I've seen in the past, is a bit of a grinder in this game, and it's only during events that you go ham at it, and it's just certain ones. As of late, you haven't really played too much, but that's because of other things happening in your life, which is understandable. Um, do you agree uh, with that? Yeah, I agree with that generally. Like, I think... I think it kind of started off as, like, I'll just play it for a bit uh, and then kind of collect fighters that I want. And then I really liked the way... Like, I think my favorite part about the game itself is, like, how hype the server chat gets during an event that's, like, contested. Yeah. Like, when people were freaking out at the end of Serapu, when, you know, you had Dobro and all of top three, three BPing because of Hotchkiss. Like, that was just super hype. Or, like, uh, the solo event where, where Paul and I were going back and forth in chat while 3 VPing against each other for a second. <laughs> like, it was just fun. And yep. it's a grind, for sure. But, like, it's a fun grind. And, obviously, recently, uh, job and stuff, been busy. Uh, but, you know, I'll be DGen again at some point. Yep. <clears throat> uh, Stasia. <laughs> so you're just gonna take a week off work for that one uh i'll just i will play whenever i'm not at work for astasia <laughs> hell yeah i think i think too like i don't choose any really specific event ahead of time i just like kind of feel it out the first two days and then i'm like okay yeah, i'll go for first or i'll just mess around and try and cuck somebody that'll be fun <laughs> Like, I literally decided to go for second and solo, like, the last day. That was that was all the last day. Yeah. Oh, man. There's no way I could do anything like that. It takes a... It's not even... Go ahead. Uh, it takes a certain breed to, I think, even play this game for more than four hours without being bored out of your brain. So, yeah, well, <laughs> well done. I mean, that's not even the, like... the time, I, I put, think I put, like, ten hours into playing that day. And I was nearly straight. Like, I, I maybe took one break to eat. Yeah. Uh, if you want to talk about, like, D-Gen, it's like Glass Viper playing for nearly 20, 20 hours. Or what Nyx is doing with, at like, the moment. like, minimal breaks. Or, like, yeah, Nyx is just <laughs> going ham. He's, he's absurd. Oh, man. Yeah, he is nuts. Uh, well, we kind of went over, at one point, while you are talking, the favorite part of the game. So I'm guessing your favorite part is the community. And the fact that the interactions uh, are very close and whatnot. It, it's close, yeah. It's a, it's a, I'd say a tie between the community and also collecting fighters that I used to think were really cool. Yeah. Like, uh, Cadmian is a good example. He's ass. He sucks. But I, I will buy every Cadmian that I come across. Same with Hinky Punk, you know. Pretty much all the Halloween fighters. That was my favorite time of year for Dot. Yep. Which is why I collect them, I guess. So I'd say I'd say it's like a collectathon, and also the community is really cool. Yeah, most of the time. I actually really wish they had the um the catalog in this game for the collection for fighters. That'd mm -hmm. be really cool. I'd love that, but yep. at the same time, I, I'd rather have siege or a true dungeon event first before yeah. I, like the catalog. Something that actually adds on to the game instead of just a quality of life or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the next one is, what are your opinions on giveaways and loaning? Oh, man, I would never uh, take a giveaway. <laughs> I would never take a Probably giveaway. the last person I should ask for a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad question for me. Uh, 
I mean, I think giveaways are fine most of the time. Uh, I think, like, it kind of depends on the person. The only reason that I'm somewhat, like, ever against giveaways is not for the fact that somebody gets something, but for the fact that it upsets so many other people Mm. that sometimes I feel like it's just not worth giving, like, either a certain person or, like, just in general a certain fighter to somebody because other people just... Yeah. Fucking hop in my DMs and, like, you know... Yep, I can agree to that a hundred percent. Like if it's it's I don't even know. It's I think it's fine. Even if I've had never gotten anything given to me, I'd still think it was fine. Yep. I, it's just at the, it's a fact of life. The like Dado has been around so long, you have so many locked dead fighters on people's accounts, you know, locked resources. I think it's fine to when they come back or whatever, they're like, oh, hey, I have this and I'm not going to play anymore, so you can have it. Just whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, loan? I I guess I could split this up into two. Yep. I think loaning is generally fine um, in terms of resources. It's a very flat, like, I am lending you a hundred nucks. Here's our deal. It's either... Pay back a hundred, pay back a fighter, or maybe pay a little interest. Yep. Renting, like a fighters. Yes. If somebody is doing it for free because it, they're just like nice, then I think that's fine. But if you start charging for it. And it becomes very problematic very quickly. When you have a community this small, you kind of have to balance um, how, I guess, how much are you taking advantage of this newer player that doesn't have a lot of resources when you are charging them to rent your band. And if it's a small amount, like I think Dobro does like 10 nucks or something for an event for a Hermes line I think that was his rate, depending on the event. I mean, anything around there is that's really cheap for what you get out of it. I think that that's fine. But obviously, I've been very vocal in the past about not really supporting like the lotto epic for rent renting somebody's band to get the lotto. Right. Yeah. Like I, th- I think I think that that crosses a line of like, okay, this is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, you can get all micro and macro economics on it and say there's a bigger supply or whatever but at the end of the day I just I don't think that it's worth it for a game like this for a community that's so small if this was OG dot then go ahead I don't care yeah but like when you are actively affecting people that everybody knows because pretty much everybody knows everybody in the server that's active then it is you yeah. know and we have a brings very... up the opportunity yeah yeah, we have a very transparent community here. So if someone does get screwed over or whatever, and it gets out, that person that screwed them over is going to cop it. Like, it may not yeah. be from the mods or whatever, but they're just going to cop flack by the common folk, including myself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about the previous incidents. Um, but yeah, I just don't think you can't really... Well, you can't just get away with um, scamming I guess, or kind of absurd deals. Even like the Lotto Epic incident for a legend. That's 70 nucks just for loaning a lion for a dungeon event that you only need for like, if you're bidders, like an hour. If you don't bidders, maybe a day. Yeah, it's like, you know, yeah, sure, they're getting a legend, you can say (laughs) that. I I think that's a moot argument just because there are other people that won't charge that much, Mm. which means that you are actively overcharging. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the market, but of course there's less people offering it. Yeah. I think if you're a newer player and you're looking for renting, just fish around. Don't just go to one person and just ask them. Because yeah, yeah. more often than not, they're probably going to rip you off. But if you go to them and say, oh, but this guy charged me... You don't say the name or whatever. This guy charged me 10 nuts instead of your 20 nuts that you're offering. I'm just going to go to him instead. See you later. Yeah, like it, it, it'll become a better market and I will more support renting 
But I don't think I don't know for sure if we'll get to that point of like self regulation. No, because it's a very like underhand deal as well. Like it's not really. It's an... Yeah, it's it's not usually public. Uh, it's very like volatile depending on the event. It definitely is. Well, okay. Um, next one. What is the number one change you want to see in Defender of Texel Online? Oh, okay. Um, meme answer or real answer? Uh, you're a person, so your answer. You can be as selfish right, uh, as you want. Okay, well, I think of, like, which change that I want for my real answer. I'll just say right now that I want Earsome to be deleted. Like, <laughs> I want the files to be deleted for Earsome permanently. <laughs> uh, I think that that's a fighter that should have never existed and shouldn't even be programmed into the game. Like, I don't care about it, the four out of four legendaries, whatever. I think, okay, I do care, but I don't care that they're, like, programmed into the game because they're never going to be released, you know. Uh, never say and never. they were all just money grabs. Orbo's in the True. game. They, they, for, all the four out of fours are just money grabs before Dot died. Yes. Earsim was not. Earsim was, like, <laughs> they thought that that was a good idea for a fighter. It's fine. It only hits two things. It's like a pre it only twice. has two things with priority, <laughs> but it does agi damage uh, with a higher multi. It's just, it's so stupid. Uh, I'd say, like, my real answer. Yeah. Uh, that's tough. I do think Zephix's fighter balancing is very important, so that's definitely up there. Uh, but I, I generally think a redistribution and change of how leaderboard rewards work, like event rewards work needs to be, needs to happen. That's what I want to see the most, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think that, uh, I don't think it's a supply thing either because, you know, I think there, there probably is too many legends getting released into the game per event. I mean... We're talking a difference of a year, like a year ago. Glue was just being phased out as market currency. Zizco and like, or like Zico, I don't know how people say it, and I don't want to get lampooned, I'll just say it. <laughs> Multiple ways. Uh, you know, like, every preempt fighter was still good. Like, that was just a year ago, right? Yep. And it was hard to get, like, an, a Max and Heavy was what, like 105? It was expensive, but it wasn't even as expensive as, like, when you were getting Nebus. But it was, like, still expensive compared to what it is now. It's dirt cheap now. Like, people join the game, and within a week, they have a full Nebu line or, like, a full KO line. Mm. Like, it, it's very easy to get fighters now. And so I, I'd like to see, like, a very, like, a stranglehold of you need to play for this leaderboard legend uh you're probably not going to be able to get a line for, of them anymore that sort of deal yeah there's not going to be three copies of it in the as dungeon rewards there's not going to be one copy of it as a dungeon reward mm. I, I just don't think that somebody should be able to play an event get first place and then buy two more max ones right after without like taking a, a significant dent to their stores or their their band right like that's insane mm, yeah that that never would have happened and never did happen in og people squeezed everything they could out of their fighters in og og was a little bit more different too because it had money tied to it yeah it had money tied to it there were people real world trading like not even touching on that like leaderboard rewards were a lot more sparse yeah because there's so many more people and placements i don't know i think that it's very i think it's, it's very imbalanced in both ways i think at the same time uh in some cases there's not enough being put into the game but it, that's mainly because of the current state right if, it, if we reset then i think that legends should be much rare yeah I agree to that. Current state, though, I, I think PvP should have more rewards, but that's just, like, 
because everybody has 400 nux lying around that's been here for over a year right yeah yeah i was gonna potentially have myself as a person on this and put my opinions out so i won't say too much now (laughs) so yeah i've got some very strong opinions about current fighter distribution yeah um all right the next one your reputation as a discord member so we went through player like a player but as a discord member so you're a trial mod currently in the dotto discord i am how do you think other people feel about you as a member i definitely think that there's some people that don't like me as much now that i'm a trial mod uh for different reasons whether it's because i told them to stop doing something stupid or whatever uh obviously i don't shit post as much anymore like i used to i used to do it a lot yeah um but i don't know i stopped for a while and then and then that's, that's when i applied after like probably a month where i was just kind of like super chill and then you know i don't know i think i think i'm trustworthy to quite a lot of people i'd hope at least i mean i don't i haven't done anything to not be trustworthy to others in the Mm. server uh i do think that some people dislike the the way that i might moderate sometimes but i don't know all i can say to that is just like it it is definitely an, an odd transition yeah to to like have to like start enforcing rules on people that you've been in chat with for quite a long time. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely makes it a lot harder when you're put into the I guess the other side in terms of being the police I guess at times for when people get out of hand or I've posted yeah, like too it- many gifts. It's it's just it's hard too because like it it makes it kind of like a well is this something that should I tell people to go talk in general that's that's one that I I really have struggled with in terms of like me watching chat like yeah. do I tell people to just go talk in general or do I just let the conversation fizzle because I feel like it will in the next five minutes yeah exactly um, it, d- it definitely makes uh, your life a bit harder and it's something that I'm glad I'm not doing. <laughs> so. I don't know. I enjoy it because it kind of gives a new perspective. Mm. Uh and I think that that's like I don't know, I think it's important somewhat uh for like burnout especially for a game like this. Like yeah. you get a you get a different perspective and now now it's kind of like I'm playing but yeah, I'm also just modding the Discord. Yeah whenever i'm online helping people and it is cool it is cool helping people i will say that like whenever somebody dms me like hey uh, i i'm having trouble downloading this can you help me and then like it's like that's cool that's that's i don't know i just enjoy that i don't know why yep uh it's just some people just like helping others and hearing the word thanks and whatnot i just Um, feel useful yeah that's cool (laughs) Need more of those <laughs> in this Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't remind me about the tier list. Fuck. <laughs> I haven't touched that in that's four not, months, I think. <laughs> that's not in the question list. Don't worry. We're not going to talk about okay. that. Okay, good. Then we'll, <laughs> let's move on right now. I, I did have a look at who's put in um, commitments into the tier list, and I think half the people on that list are now banned, so... <laughs> Wait, Really? Yeah, well, you got Ravel. I think NXT, you had... uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, Nature Man. (laughs) Wait, is he still on there? I thought I took him off, because he really didn't help. He was just in my DMs. I looked on there, and it had his name on there. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, half that list is probably banned or inactive. I'd say most of that list is inactive. I mean, to be fair... I didn't like hit up inactive players, but I think that I think it was somebody. I think it might have been Dobro and Grum. Like reached out to some older players that knew knew quite a lot about some fighters that were just like super obscure, like Caskeland and um, Lofa Diana, and like 
really obscure ones that I wanted to place, but I didn't have anybody to ask. Yeah. And so you'll see, you'll see like, uh, I don't think I ever would have talked to, or at least bothered, um, uh, what's his name? Rat. I can't think of his name. Oh, uh, Tsunami. Yeah, Tsunami. Tsunami. Why could I? Because he's a rat. Yeah, I, I, he, well, he never, like, he's never active except, like, a mm -hmm. pop in Discord once every, twice every month or whatever. Like, yeah. I wouldn't have reached out to him because I wouldn't have wanted to bother him, but it was really cool getting his view. And, yeah. Like, his perspective on on stuff same with like area like area is not very active at all yeah fun times so. though <laughs> oh man copped a bit of flack for that tier list i know that oh yeah i got i got some dms that's just the I got quite a few dms <laughs> yeah just people's opinions are you forgot this fighter hedge within like 20 seconds told me i forgot boca but i didn't forget boca i just didn't put boca on there <laughs> <laughs> well like i had this i had this deal with tsunami i was like he he pointed out like are you gonna add boca and i'm like oh i guess i forgot and then he's like well uh how about this don't put him on there and then i'll give 50 nucks to the first person who points it out and then i posted the tier list and within like a few minutes uh hedge had read it and he's like you forgot boca <laughs> <laughs> i remember sue it was either sue or hedge himself said like yeah i don't need it <laughs> Just, <laughs> Never, it, nothing ever happened with that. But I haven't added Boca since. <laughs> and I'm, it's not even that I'm being lazy either to update it. Like I, I formatted it really poorly. Yeah. And it is a pain in the ass to update and to add new, add new uh, data to it. So I'm just kind of, I am being a bit lazy because I don't want to deal with it. But I'm also trying to think of a better way to do it. Do you so have like I'll, a we'll, template I'll or anything actually. for it? No, I had to make it from scratch. Ah, uh, okay. I had to I had to learn like some basic like wiki coding. Yeah. So that was uh, annoying. But once I did like I learned that once you did that, you can just kind of like right click. You can go back to the viewer and then like expand rows and columns. But it's still like the font sizes are off. It looks like shit to be honest. Yeah. So if I can redo it, I will. If not, then later yeah. down the track. Yeah. Then you have to update it weekly as new fighters roll out. Yeah, I I think that I, once I update it again, I'm just gonna do it monthly. Yeah, kind of stick to that. Like three to four fighters get added every month, maybe five if a good one was released as like a side piece. Yeah, it'd be quite interesting. See where you put some, especially dread. I think you might upset some people with that one. I definitely will upset people <laughs> where I place red, but that's like I'm not gonna be biased and put him like at like a three, but I am gonna put him lower than people expect. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's just an illusion that people have from back in the day. He's just not quite the same. Yeah, he's he's a shell. He's a husk of what he used to be. I, mean, mm -hmm. I think that's generally good. I don't think that having full power dread would have been good for the game. No. No, I agree. Maybe um, a little more damage on the, the hits, though. You know. Yeah, he could. Right. He could maybe hit a little bit more than that, can he? But like, he could maybe right. maybe kill Azul <laughs> if he high rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Your top three favorite fighters. Oh, oh, oh. um, this is tough. Yep. I have quite a few fighters that I really enjoy, but if I had to pick three, it would be Hinky Punk as number three. Yep. Uh, Astasio as number two, and Fair in the Fall as number one. Okay, so Cadmian's not in there. I thought he'd be at the, near the top. No, he's like top five for sure. Like he's, I think he's either fifth or fourth. I I think I'd put Cathodyne above Cadmian. Yeah, yeah. I I love both those sprays, but uh, yeah, I always like. Astasia is my favorite fighter that's going to be released in Dado because I don't think I, like Farron will ever get touched. So that's a four when out of four, it, isn't it? Yeah, it's a four out of four. It's it's dumb busted. It does some stat change and then hits preempt twice. <laughs> it, it's basically I star, but like ten times better and with like way better stats. <laughs> it's correct. Oh dear. Um. All right. 
And we're coming up to the next one, which is one of the last ones. Your favorite moment in Defender of Texel Online? Oh, favorite moment. Um, I was my t- first two first places weren't that hype. Both of them coincidentally had zombie behind me in second, and I guess like I don't know, I just pushed above the limit that he wanted to spend, so I didn't have to fight for either of my first places. <laughs> Did I? Do I only have two? I think I only have two. Um, definitely solo. Solo was so fun. Like once I got past, once I turned my brain off for like eight hours and and caught up to Paul, then I, I turned it back on and it was like really fun. You know, when he, he when he finally woke up and he came into chat, I I really need to get that message framed. That was funny. <laughs> but like it was just it was like the banter going on back and forth. It, it was it was a fun time. Yeah. Very fun. <laughs> All right. Um, any fond memories of the original dot? Oh, that's a long time ago. That is a long time ago. I was young too when I started playing. I think I was like twelve years old when I started playing dot. Yep. Yeah, that's rough. Um, <laughs> I think my f- my fondest memory from OG dot probably like. I want to say it was like when I first. There's a few that are pretty much tied. When I got my first Max the Santa, because I really liked his sprite back then and his animation. Uh, I say as I'm looking at your profile picture, it's Hell, it's actually yeah. true though. Like he he's so cool, and yeah, I yeah, think he was one of the coolest of like the the original epics they released. Um, when my brother and I like got home from school that one the one day that they announced they were releasing legendaries, that was very hype. Yeah, like a very fun moment. Uh, like I'm very fond of that moment just because of how excited we were. Uh, and then I'd say towards the end of the game, just I remember playing. I remember getting my first gold. Oh yeah, and that was, that was fun. I think I think like the OG dot your golds meet meant so much more just because you were fighting people that were burning money yeah pretty much and so getting getting that og gold after like saving up for so long and like hoarding my nux bits and hoarding bitters so i could use them to uh to keep playing like it was just it was definitely that's that's probably my fondest memory actually was getting my first gold that was fun rewarding it felt rewarding and then Mm -hmm. the game got shut down not too long (laughs) after but you know Oh well, you got a gold. Yeah. All right. Um, the last one. Is there any questions you'd like to ask me? <laughs> yeah, the fuck are you thinking? Zero to three acme for three nebus. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Come on, man. I, that was Alpha I pulled it out of Alpha Site and an Odric. I'm like. I can get a Nebu line here. So I fucking... <laughs> you don't need this anymore, yeah. <laughs> Aqui's garbage, it's a warlock. So I posted up three Nebus and it instantly sold. Like, that's probably not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, Aqui's so garbage, but you have a line now, don't you? I most definitely do. And... How, how are you enjoying that? Yeah, it smokes X24 and I've already done all the dungeons, so... It'll be okay in PvP, I guess. Yeah... Just uh, hope for Max Sweet Delight. Well, I've got a Sweet Delight. I mean, I hope for the re hope for a re-release. Yeah. I mean, how much taxi do you have? Uh, I think like five hundred k. It's not much. Ah, uh, you broke. Yeah, that's why I'm in X24 at the in a moment. Discord call with a broke person. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't call me spoon fed taxi wise. I can. I can't, but I can. If they <laughs> if they release where you can sell resources for Texi at half the exchange rate, then you could be spoon fed in Texi. This is true. Um, actually, do have uh, I don't I don't want to ask anything like too too deep because you said that you might want to do one of these with yourself. Yep. Um, 
so I guess that I will ask, why have you never gone for gold in Dado? Oh, okay. Now, personally, this kind of gives away my favorite part of the game, but I actually despise pushing leaderboard. So I have no interest in playing for more than about an hour at a time. And there's no way I can play for six hours plus a day. Or even push on a Windelmar event for a gold, like what Nil has done. Um, there is zero motivation for me to get a gold crown, because I, I just have no tie to it. I couldn't care less. You don't feel any sense of completion towards it? Nope. I mean, fair enough. Like, I, yeah, it does definitely take, like... Okay, I... But that doesn't really make... You play RuneScape. Of course. <laughs> I got like 499s in RuneScape. Come on, man. Yeah, gro growing up in RuneScape <laughs> is what makes me able to play Dot for long periods of time. Because I can just <laughs> turn off my brain and watch YouTube and mindlessly click for X amount of hours. Another thing that really frustrates me in Dotto is a lot of the people won't actually realize, but we have a terrible loading times because of the server oh. connection. So, I yeah. actually watched Nix's stream as he was doing the event. He would get into a battle of a boss, kill the boss, and I've only just moved one tile doing that. It is terribly slow, and that also demotivates me from playing. To a yeah, point of pushing me to board. You are, yeah, it doesn't help that you're the opposite end of the earth. Yeah, it, it's just, yeah, there's a lot of demotivating factors, and yeah, I just, yeah. I just don't see the re yeah. reward in it. I guess I never really thought about it that way. Your ping must be really bad with the server. Yeah, well, I essentially have... Well, I'd have, like, 200-plus ping for Dotto, which... <laughs> doesn't sound like yeah, much, that's... but if you're pushing an event, you're taking two, three times as long as other people. That's not a good thing. No, not at all. Like, I, I can't imagine, like, if, if I... It's good to know if I ever need to cuck nil out of something that I can just... <laughs> one bp versus this three bp and still beat him just because his load time is gonna be terrible yeah yeah it's actually shocking but that's yeah. west coast advantage i guess yeah well the server's located somewhere in the u.s yeah i think it's i don't know i have a i don't know if lambo set it himself to his time zone or if he or if the server is on the west coast i don't know that the answer to that but like yeah i'm pretty sure it's west coast okay pretty sure cool moving to california to play dotto <laughs> sure i'll just ditch my job take the missus yeah, with me and we'll... <laughs> yeah we'll get a gamer house midnight resets good ping <laughs> come on man we got reset great over here it's 4 30 p.m Oh, that is really good. Mine that... is terrible. Not as bad as, like, some places in Europe, but, like, pretty fucking terrible. Yeah. You got 2 a.m., don't you? 3 a.m. Oh, daylight savings. Yeah, which means <laughs> if reset is... Yeah, if reset's on a weekday, then I'm, I can't stay up, because I gotta be up at, like, 7.30 a.m. for work. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, no fun. <laughs> oh, all right, then. I think that's... All we got for today, and I just looked at the runtime. We're at thirty nine minutes, so I think Let's that's go. that's more than enough. <laughs> that's a good length. I was worried I'd have to extend it just for ad revenue at ten minutes. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, zero cents at all, Ern. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, you got anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah, thank, thanks for having me, Hellfire. Oh, um, yeah, no probs. I'm really glad that your toilet's flushed backwards. It's cool to be able to be able to say that I know somebody who, whose toilets are different. Like, that's cool, right? Speaking of um, which, I'll have to go to the loo in a sec, so I got a, something brewing down there. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, just, you know... Say hi, say hi to me in chat. If you're Hellfire, you can tell me to fuck off. Fantastic. Um, yeah, thanks for coming on, and thanks for being a part of the most scuffed episode of the series. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sure you'll have worse. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Um, now, to people that are watching, all three of you that do watch, which will probably be one of me, um, we are planning to, for future episodes, we're going to look at trying to do like a polling system. So I'll reach out to a few people that would be interested in being interviewed. Um, and the ones that say yes, we'll look at polling them up. And I'll try and work with Lambo into trying to get a poll put up somewhere where all of you can vote. Um, and then the one that gets the most votes, they'll be on the next episode. Um, so, yeah. So hopefully we'll see that in the next coming week or weeks. And yeah, thanks again for coming on, Floob. Uh, thanks for having me. Good luck on leaderboards, lads. <laughs> Yeah, don't push too hard for dread. Don't make a loss. Yeah, don't fall asleep, duck. <laughs> I love you, duck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, All right. we're going to wrap it up for this one and we'll see you guys in maybe a week or two. Cheers, guys. Adios.